How's it going everybody? Coach Matt coming at you with another video. I've got a question for all of you and I want you to answer it in the comment section below. What is your favorite food to get at your stadium? Please list your favorite item to buy at your stadium and what stadium? So two things, favorite food you want to get at the stadium and what stadium do you get it at? All right, without further ado, let's get this video started. Welcome back to the Daily Baseball Report. Coach Matt coming at you with another video where all we do is talk baseball and baseball related news and we cover all things that happen in the major leagues. So please, if you like that content, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. We post videos every single day and smash the like button if you like the content. We are on the road to 1K by opening day, so please hit the subscribe button, and then share this with everyone you can. We're trying to get to 1K by opening day. We're less than two weeks away. So please share this channel with everyone that you can, and I really appreciate it. So we should get through all this content pretty quick. There were only nine games yesterday. We're getting towards the end of spring training, and I'm excited for Major League Baseball to begin, the actual regular season to begin because I know everyone is kind of at that lull. They're just like, uh, baseball, okay. Like we're, we're starting to see some cuts, but we're still seeing some players that are still not quite major league ready, but they still should deserve a little bit more time in the, you know, or vision. The players that are still around still need a little bit more exposure and the coaches and the GMs, they still wanna see their assets in play and see how they perform, et cetera. So it's at that weird window of, we don't know if this person's gonna stick around, we don't know what to think, but you know, it's at that time and I understand, I totally feel it. We're gonna start off with the Nationals versus the Mets. And the Nationals won this one, and Yadiel Hernandez and Kyle Schwarber both hit their second home run of the spring, and Josh Bell hit his third home run of the spring. John Lesser is making his return from thyroid surgery, and so his innings are definitely a lot lower than what you would see for a starting pitcher at this point in spring training. He did pitch two innings. He gave up one hit, one run. That run was earned. He gave up one walk. He had two strikeouts. His ERA is 4.5. It's understandable. He's still kind of getting his feet wet. So that was him. And that was on the Washington national side. On the New York Mets side, Marcus Stroman pitched for, for them and he pitched five innings. He gave up two hits, one run. That run was earned. And he had, all right, well, after that recording error, we, uh, for whatever reason, my camera just shut off. That was a little odd. So my train of thought was somewhere around Marcus Stroman making a, an athletic play. And yes, he was very athletic in this place. I'm very glad that he didn't hurt himself. I feel like every time I see a pitcher come off the mound the way he does to make a kind of a very dynamic play, they typically, <laughs> they'll roll an ankle or they'll hurt themselves, they'll throw it into the seats, something, you know, uh, or other. So I'm very glad he didn't hurt himself. I think the shortstop could very well have made this play, but regardless, it was really fun to see him do that. All right, moving over to the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago Cubs. I find this to be highly ironic. This is a repeat of the 2016 World Series and the Cleveland Indians were up three games to one and the Cubs won four to three. So ironic that that's the score of the game and that was the outcome of the 2016 World Series. Anyways, getting into it. David Bodie went two for two with a home run. Jake Marisnik went one for one with a three run home run, raising his average to 333 and his on base percentage to Almost 1,200, 1.167. Jake Arrieta just needs to be in a Cubs uniform, 100%. He is just better in a Cubs uniform. He has pitched four innings. He gave up four hits, one run. It was earned. He had five strikeouts, lowering his ERA to 2.89. For the Cleveland Indians, who, by the way, had double the amount of hits as the Cubs. They had 12 hits out in the entire game. Uh, ben Gamble went two for four. Owen Miller went three for four. And Daniel Johnson also went three for four. Zach Plesak pitched for the Cleveland Indians and he pitched five innings. He gave up four hits. He had one run. It was an earned run. He had four strikeouts and his ERA is currently 5.84. 
It's actually improved. He was actually way worse. He, had, he gave up like seven runs in his previous start or something around that. So uh, he actually is improving. Moving on to the Kansas City Royals and the Chicago White Sox. Bobby Witt Jr. went one for five with a run scored. Christopher Bubik uh, pitched for the uh, Royals and he pitched 2.1 innings, five hits, three runs. All of them were earned. He gave up two walks and two strikeouts. His spring ERA is 8.59. Adam Engel of the Chicago White Sox nearly hit for the cycle. He had a home run, triple, and a double. He just needed a measly little single, and he did not get it. Sad, but I would love to see this guy get another chance at something like that. Or it would be cool if he would uh, perform a cycle in the regular season that would actually count. Eloy Jimenez and Jose Abreu both had two hits. And Abreu is currently hitting 242. I think it's about what he normally hits, about 250, 270. So he's almost in mid-season form. And then Elo Jimenez is hitting 275. or two, I'm sorry, he's hitting 278. He's basically at mid-season form. Dallas Keuchel pitched for the Chicago White Sox, and he did not, very, he did not pitch very well. He pitched 2.1 innings. He gave up five hits, five runs. They were all earned, two walks, and he had one strikeout. His ERA is currently 19.29. Not very good. Moving over to the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. This game ended in a tie after seven innings. Mookie Betts went three for four with two runs scored, raising his average to 391. Will Smith went three for three with a run scored, raising his average to 346. Cody Bellinger went two for four with a home run, showing that his offseason surgery, in fact, is not slowing him down. He has not missed a beat. And... David Price pitched for the Dodgers, and it wasn't a great start. He pitched 2.2 innings. He gave up seven hits, two runs. They were both earned. He had one walk and one strikeout, and his ERA is currently 2.7. Merrill Kelly pitched for the Diamondbacks, and he pitched four innings. He gave up eight hits, six runs. They uh, had four earned. He had one walk, one strikeout, and his ERA is currently nine. David Peralta went three for four with two runs and three RBIs, raising his average to 321 and his OPS to 1.030. He did hit a home run. Estrubal Cabrera went three for three with a run scored and two RBIs, raising his average to 333 and 1.093 on the OPS. He also hit a home run. Moving over to the Oakland Athletics versus the San Diego Padres. Sean Manaya pitched for the Oakland Athletics and he pitched... 3.2 innings, he gave up two hits, two runs. They were both earned. He had five strikeouts, and his ERA total is 4.05. Kai Tom went two for four, and he's the one who had a big home run. He's currently hitting 500 with a 1.400 OPS. He has a very small sample size in terms of total at-bats and hits, but if he's hitting 500, give this guy a couple more at-bats, see how he does, see if he pans out. But... Interesting name, Ka'ai, but regardless, I think this guy's pretty cool. On the San Diego Padres side, Adrian Morjohn made the start for the Padres. He pitched 3.2 innings. He gave up four hits, two runs. They were both earned. He had two walks and a strikeout. Moving over to the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Anaheim Angels. Billy McKinney went one for three with a home run. On the Anaheim Angels side, Andrew Heaney pitched five innings. He gave up one hit. He had two walks and eight strikeouts, lowering his ERA to 4.66. He had a pretty rough start uh, earlier in the spring, so I fully foresee that ERA to come down even more. Uh, or in, in the regular season, I think he's going to be about a 4.05 ERA. That's just my opinion. So he's pretty close to midseason form, but he uh, definitely has a lot of room for improvement. Mike Trout went one for one with two walks. His average is currently 238. Anthony Rendon, he's hitting 238, and he went 0 for 2. The Miami Marlins versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Adam Duvall went 2 for 3 with two runs scored. He had a triple and a home run. Pablo Lopez did not pitch very great for the Marlins. Uh, he pitched 4.2 innings. He had six hits. Three runs, they were all earned. He had three strikeouts, and his ERA is 2.63. Paul Goldschmidt went one for two with a run scored. Nolan Arenado went 0 for three. Paul DeYoung went two for three with two runs scored and two RBIs. He raises. 